Hi everyone. So before I start the video today, I wanted to talk to you about Moby Max. Um, after speaking with everyone on Friday, I got overwhelming feedback that everyone, almost everyone preferred iReady over Moby Max. So you will be continuing to do your iReady work. However, you can log into Moby Max and you can play their games or you can do lessons or you can do whatever you want. Um, with Moby Max, you can go on it, you can have fun but make sure you're still getting your eye ready done because that's where I'm going to be pulling your grades from. In addition to still having paper classwork. So we're moving on to our next unit, which is about angles. So first we're gonna talk about the different types of angled measurements. So the first one and the most common, or not the most common one, but the, this type of angle is used in a lot of geometric shapes. So that is the right angle. A right angle has a measurement of 90 degrees, and it looks like it belongs to a part of a square or a rectangle. Typically when you see a right angle, it will have a little square inside the vertex where the two lines meet to form the angle, because this square is going to show you that it's part of a right angle, which is in a square or a rectangle. The next type of angle that we're gonna go over is an acute angle. An acute angle has a measurement between one degree and 89 degrees. So that means that it is less than a right angle. So here are three different acute angles that you can see, and they're all less than that right angle. They're all smaller. A way you can remember that acute angles are small angles is you can say, oh, it's so acute, so cute. So typically when you think of small things, they're cute like babies and puppies. So think of the acute angles as the small, cute angle. Obtuse angles are bigger than a right angle. They're from 91 degrees to 179 degrees. So over here I have three obtuse angles. You can tell that they're much wider than the acute angles. Okay, a straight angle is just as it sounds. It is a straight line. You can't really see where the vertex is unless you draw a dot for where the two lines meet because this is a straight line. It's a measurement of 180 degrees. Now a circle angle, is an angle measured of 360 degrees. That is one complete circle. It goes completely around. So it starts here, goes all the way around to there. It can be marked with a circle, but it's not always marked with a circle. This is a set of angles that when put together measure 360 degrees. So even though this isn't one angle, it's still measured as a circle angle because it takes up all 360 degrees that it takes to make a circle. Those are, yep, those are our four types of angles that you'll be talking about today. And good luck on your classroom.